Dan Dan here from the Dharma Minecraft. Welcome back to the Dharma Dimensions mod pack, Modded Survival, where today we are standing outside the jail cell because... Was it last episode? I can't even remember, but last episode or maybe even the episode before, I'm so lost right now, but we built this and then we captured the criminal. Beware, dangerous person. Carla the Shepherd sent... Oh, man, that, that's spelled wrong. Sentenced to life in jail. So let me change this because I spelled it wrong. Carla the Shepherd sentenced to life. Wait, 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 wait. Jail for life. There we go. Correctly spelt, which means everyone can take it that little bit more seriously. Looks like she's taking a little bit of a nap now, but hey, you're going to be stuck in there for life. So, uh, save your naps. Make sure they're really long, and then maybe, maybe, I was going to say, maybe you'll you'll see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you're stuck in here for ages. So, sorry, Carla. Sorry, you shouldn't have done it, though. And if you haven't been caught up with the Diamond Dimensions recently, what she did was she pushed someone, uh, someone with googly eyes, down this hole right here now. That is ugly. I built that last time. I know, it's it's pretty much a masterpiece. But um, it was to solve a problem with these guys. So we're actually looking pretty good for villagers at the moment. There's not too many around. There's usually way more than this. But what I think has happened is I got rid of like these bushes that were here. And people have just stopped messing around and just like getting pushed in the bushes and all that good stuff. So we kind of solved the situation just a little bit, which is okay. So what, what, why I was talking about this was uh, because we need to cover this up. This is a hazard, dangerous hazard waiting to just kill more people. Because there's people chilling on the edge here. There's some people that have made their way down here, unfortunately, guys. You're all going to be stuck down here for life. I know it sucks, but hey, sometimes you make bad decisions and your bad decision has ended up in you being stuck down there. So what my plan is to do is cover with with glass. I, I think that's a good idea because I, um, I think there's some cool glasses... You know what I mean. <laughs> cool versions of glass. Oh, geez, look. Look at this carved glass. That is so cool. I didn't even know there was cool glass like that. I thought there would be some cool glass. Like, I know we have the, um, the, what's it called? Is that honeycomb glass, I think it's called? Or caramel glass? We've got that. But I didn't realize we had that really cool patterned one. So let me get rid of that. Oh, geez, that almost fell down. And I'm just going to cover it with glass and I can get rid of this, uh, this weird fence thing going on, which didn't really work. And I need to empty this as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So let's see what glass we've got. We've actually got, like, edged glass. And stuff like that. Dark glass is pretty cool. Uh, I think that's pretty expensive, though. That's a lot of wool. Um, it does look quite nice. I mean, we could have the whole edge with this. How do you make thickened glass? You just make sandy glass and then smelt it to make thickened glass. And then you can make edged glass. Let's do that. Let's do that. That would be awesome. It's better to just have, like, a really cool-looking glass than a really, really bad-looking glass. There's a life lesson for you guys. But the only problem is we don't really have that much uh, sand. So I'm going to go and sleep because everyone's kind of sleeping as well. So I feel a little bit left out. Ah, oh, jeez, look how good this house is looking now. I'm liking it. Ah, oh, jeez, we still need to get rid of this. Is there any sand in here, actually? Uh, yeah, there is, actually. Nice. Nice. Uh, there's sandstone. I don't think we can undo that. But we need to add literally just glass to sand. So we need to smelt some of the sand and leave the rest. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Let me just get rid of uh, this and... Oh, some coal in here that I just nabbed. Okay, let's grab these. Nice. I don't know why I have so many furnaces in here. But I do. And let's go and have a quick nap. Uh, Nikki, how you doing? Uh, interact. Uh, tell a story. Don't do something that reckless. Not quite sure what I did that was reckless, but hey, she hates me as usual. Mind you, the past few days, she's been pretty nice to me, so... I'm guessing she's kind of coming around to the idea of actually being married to me, which is good because we we are married right now. <laughs> so hopefully she's enjoying my company. Right, so where is Toby? Toby, where are you? Oh, oh, is this him? I think this is him. Okay, yay, Toby, how you doing, buddy? Um, What age? He's still four? Well, he's kind of tall for a four-year-old. Um, Where am I going? I'm not going anywhere. Let's do a little bit of a joke. Yeah, you tell your friend that one. He's still on five stars, which is beautiful. Awesome. And he's got, he's fine. He's friendly. 
What a good son he is. Okay, um, what's this guy doing? No, you don't, don't point your arrows at this tiny person. Or, or whoever this is. Dash the armorer. You're a cool looking guy, I must say. Right, enough of that and more sand collecting. So there's some down there, but I don't think there's much. You can see where we've been sand collecting before. Um, oh geez, that guy's hat is beautiful. I think I comment on that every single time. But I need to grab some sand for myself, please. Okay, that's a nice, decent amount. Let's grab... How much are we going to need? We're going to need... Half of it's going to have to turn into glass and half of it's going to just stay as sand. So I'm not actually sure how much I need to get. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, geez. Um, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's grab this. Wait for the water to disappear. There we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, we need some more sources of sand because this isn't going very well, is it? We need just like a, a desert biome would be beautiful. But of course, there's never a desert biome around here. Can I just move you, please? Excuse me. Get out of here. Even though you're a mason, I don't need your help right now. Get rid of that one, and that one, and this one should be safe as well. How much have we got? 50. Uh, 51. That's going to turn into... I don't even know. I can't do maths right now. But let's just gather all this sand, and then we'll head back. I'm so glad I have this harpy ability now. I don't know why I didn't choose that before. Maybe I just didn't kill one, but it's much better than the bats. And for some reason, these villagers love just jumping in holes. You're stuck now, buddy. I'm sorry to say that. I might just make... A little bit of a staircase for you to get out, because I'm feeling nice today. Right, let's go and make some of this into glass, and then some of this into... Uh, well, it's going to stay as sand, and then we need to make sure it goes into thickened glass. So we're going to do a lot of smelting, which is good. I think we've got a couple other jobs to do as well, so it should be fine. And we're not going to make all of it... I don't even know. We can make the edges edged glass, and then the rest just normal. I think that'll be best. So, we need a furnace... Uh, we're going to put half in here, and we're going to put half in here. We've got a lot of stone for some reason. I'm going to put this in here. There we go. Let's put some of that in there too. Grab this too, and put that in there. We can try and get these villagers out of here. I don't know what's going on. I think there's a fair few guys in there. <laughs> so many. Right, let's put um, split this in half, and then in half again. So that would make 32 pieces of glass. Half that, that's 16... Shady glass, whatever it's called. Strengthened glass. No, sandy glass. I smell that. It makes 16 thickened glass. My brain. My brain hurts. And then that makes 16 edged glass. That's not going to be enough, is it? That's not going to be enough. Let me see. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. You can use different sands. That's good. Okay, we'll try this. But we also want to make some other glass, too. So while that is smelting, I want to make some more glass to kind of cover this over. I don't really want to cover this whole area. I just want to cover the hole, pretty much. But I want to make it the same level as everything else. So if I grab some dirt from over here, I can just level it out and make sure everything is looking awesome. Otherwise, it's not going to be the best, is it? Right, let's grab this dirt. I've just noticed as well, my cacti are looking beautiful. Finally, we've got some cacti action up in here. Okay, this is a problem. There's people in here. So what I'm going to do is make it so that it goes this way. But there's people in the way. So follow me. Uh, oh, geez, you almost fell. Follow me and follow me. You're going to come over here. Come on, punks. Let's go over here and you can move freely again. No, stop running away. Why do they always run this way? Super weird. Where did you go? Is it you? Yeah, move freely. Awesome. Okay, so I just want to make a border around here just so they can't walk on this anymore. And this is where I'm going to put the edge glass anyway. Let's move this. Move this. Uh, okay, you're in a dangerous position right now. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> you're locked away forever now, I'm afraid. Uh, you're going to have to follow me. Uh, you're gonna have to follow me. You're gonna have to follow me. Be careful. Be careful and walk over here. Please. Please don't hurt yourselves. Right, move freely. This guy is running off with a bow and arrow like he owns the place. Move freely and move freely. That was someone else. It was you. Move freely. Don't let me see you in the pit of death ever again. That is what we're calling this. It's called the pit of death. How are people still getting over here? Stop it. Stop it right now. Uh, Zeke the farmer. Will you just, like, chill out and get over there? I almost pushed him in myself. I have to imprison myself in jail. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Okay, let's see how we're doing. We need... Uh, right, we've got 14 glass from here, 14 from here. And now we put these together. So we half this and then half this to make sandy glass. 
And then, oh, we've got loads. Oh, geez, I don't know if I needed that much. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, that's a lot, but we're gonna smell it anyway. Um, oh dear. Did I want that much? It doesn't matter. We're just gonna make a pattern if so. I don't know if I needed that much. So I'm gonna skip forward a little bit, make sure I've got all the sandy glass, and then come back when we can actually cover this pit of death. It's looking terrible right now, but by the end of this episode, it should look pretty awesome. So bear with me, I'll be back in a sec. So, do you know how boring it is to watch something smelt? No? Don't try it. It's it's not advised. It really isn't. Um, why don't I have two chests here? I think it was to do with this, right? Um, yeah, I think it was. Anyway, less of that and more putting stuff in chests. I want to get rid of some stuff. I am overflowing in the chest department already. Which is pretty nuts, considering I didn't clear it out too long ago. I grabbed some stone, and you'll see why in a second. Let's pop some of that stuff back. That should be enough space for now. But I'm gonna grab this for now, and this for now. And also, I found out you can make some pretty awesome other glass too. So, you can make golden-edged glass. I kind of want to do that, so I'm gonna grab uh, this. Oh, how many do I need? Uh, you know what, you can make them whenever you like, so... I'm gonna grab some more of those, and we're gonna make some golden edge glass, and all of it uses this, uh, thickened glass, so let's make some of it. Ooh, you can make square glass as well. That's pretty cheap as well. Right, let's just make this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, where did my second glass go? That was weird. I think it just stole a glass off me, but I want four of those, so... If I go ahead and make some more of these... Jeez, that villager is going crazy. Nice moves, fella! He's looking good with his moves. Kind of crazy, though. Okay, this is expensive, but hey, I, I do not mind. Uh, right, four pieces of glass. So we've got this edged glass, which is going to look snazzy in the corners. So that's going to go there, there, and there. And luckily, we have in, uh, what's it called? Uh, iron pickaxe. Oh, I accidentally made square glass. Okay, what does this look like? Uh, oh, jeez. All those people disappeared. That's actually perfect. The souls are scurrying as well. Um... That square glass looks pretty nice, so I'm gonna make a couple more bits of that. And it's cheaper than what I was going to use. So if I put this here, uh, I don't want that glass, I want one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, that's cool. And then what else do I wanna do? I wanna have, what was the other thing? I was gonna make the quite expensive stuff. It was, it was this, wasn't it? Edged glass. That's not too bad. You can also get creeper glass like this, and you only need one gunpowder, so I think that would look quite cool. Do we have a middle? Yes, we do. That's going in the middle. Definitely. Definitely. That's going to look awesome, but I need to make some of this edged glass first. So let's make some of this. Actually, I'm only going to make eight for now, just in case it looks terrible. And then we'll have this around the edge, and then the rest can just be like normal glass, I guess. So... Oh, you know what? That looks really nice. I like that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Uh, give me this back. Don't let it fall down the pit of doom. Nice. Okay, so we need some more of that, definitely. That looks really nice. I like how it kind of connects up. Now, the question is, do I make the rest out of this because it looks so cool? Or do I uh, make it out of normal glass? I don't know. I don't know. I've got a, a hard decision ahead. Let me see, because if I make it all out of this uh, edged glass, that means you'll be able to see perfectly down the hole, and it'll look like you're kind of standing on nothing, which might look pretty impressive. Uh, the other thing I could do is this. Yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. This is going to look beautiful. What does thickened glass look like by itself? Oh, the thickened glass does it by itself. Anyway, okay, we're doing this. We're doing this, right. The other thing I need is gunpowder. This is going to look really nice. The dream, though, is to have a beacon in the middle. But for now, we're going to go ahead and take inspiration from this guy's face right here. Not you. I'm sorry, Dash. We've already complimented you today. Uh, from this guy's head right here and put some uh, creeper glass in the middle, which looks pretty good. If we've got some uh, gun... Glass gun. That'd be nice. Uh, Gunpowder. Double click this bad boy and see if we've got any. I'm so glad I found this feature. Don't know why I didn't find it before. You know what? I haven't killed many creepers, to be honest. Most of them, uh, the mobs, are like more aggressive types. No way have I got no gunpowder. It's there. Ah, oh, I spelt it wrong. What a fruit. Wow. I can't believe I spelled that wrong. Anyway, we only need one. And then we add one to this, and then one to this. Yeah, look at that creeper glass. That looks so cool. Let's see what it looks like in the middle. 
Um, let's move this. And the idea is have this connect up here. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's meant to be the other glass. Okay, right. Let me grab this back. So glad I have this seal touch pickaxe. Otherwise, I'd be in major trouble right now. And I want to make it... What do I want to make it? I just need some more of this. Right. Let's fill up here. And then I need a couple more bits of that. And then I can put that in the middle. That is going to look pretty cool. Okay. Uh, right. I've got some of this. Oh, geez. I'm running low. Am I going to have enough to make it? I don't know. I've got some more edge glass. This might just be enough. I'm not too sure, though. Uh, right. We need one there, one there, one there, and one there. Then the creeper glass goes in the middle. Yo, that looks so cool. And then... Oh, we just need normal glass. Yes, had enough. Yes, look, look at this. Yo, that looks so cool. You know what would look really awesome if we had some kind of lighting down there? I'm thinking something special, though, like really special. I wish the creeper face was facing the other way, but I can't really fix it right now. You know what? I can. I lied. Oh, and I also filled in the, um, what's it called? I filled in the, the stone there as well, because it just looks so much better. Let me see if I can get this creeper face the right way around. Uh, how are we doing? No! Ah, oh, my inventory is full! Wow! Trolled by myself. Fantastic. Okay, I need to make another one of those. What is wrong with me? Seriously, I knew- In my brain, I was thinking, you know what, I should probably check to see if this is gonna just fall down. I didn't check it, and it fell down. Great. At least I know where the gunpowder is now. Right, uh, let me put that back. There we go. Have half there. Um, and let me make one more creeper glass. Nice. And I want to try and put this the right way round. I mean, I'm not sure how. I think I put it around the other way this time. So let's try this. No, it's the wrong way around still. Maybe it's just a one-way thing. I'm not too sure. Let's try it again. I think I put it around the other way. I'm not too sure. Let's grab this, though. Catch it. Yeah. So now I'm going to put it around this way. And see if it actually works. Here we go. No, it just wants to face one way. That's so un... Kind of you. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Come on. Why? Why would you do this? Anyway, we've got some stone to fill this back up. Grass block. And that is done. Now I can deconstruct all this fence. Thank goodness for this. Now hopefully this means that there'll be less death. Or definitely less murders, which is perfect. We've got the nice golden glass as well. I think it'd be a really cool place to have a beacon. I don't even know if we have a nether star. I'm not even sure if we have a beacon. You know what we might do because of the lucky... What are they called? The lucky um, the lucky wells. I'm sure we've come across some of them. And also having some of this... Uh, what's it called? This this uh, wall is going to be perfect as well. Just for having it because it's expensive. So there you go. Um, we need to get some of these guys out of the way though. Uh, you can move please, sir. Uh, follow me. You are chosen. You were asleep but now I've woken you up. Uh, follow me. Oh, jeez, you are tall. My goodness, you are tall. Uh, we can get rid of this now as well. Yeah, that's looking so much better. That looks really cool. Now, I like how it lines around the outside. We just need to wait for these to turn to grass. Uh, you can follow me too, fisherman. Because you are stuck in that hole. There we go. You're pretty tall as well. Now, that's all covered up. There's just this chest I need to sort out, which has so much stuff in it. My goodness. Um, not really that much useful stuff either. I think some lighting would be cool here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, though. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Right, let's go to sleep. It looks pretty cool at night. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, that's cool. Right, oh, I need to get rid of this, too. This is terrible. I had to kind of, while I was away waiting for the other things to smelt, I kind of had to make this look even worse. Uh, because they just kept on somehow finding a way over the top of the wall. And I have no idea how they did it, but... They did. They're, they're pretty talented villagers. And there's just going to be people stuck down there. Hello down there. How you doing? <laughs> I think it would look really cool with all of it filled up with lava. La lava. I can't even say it. I think that would look really cool. So that might be the next step to make the pit of doom. It'll be a pit of doom. It's kind of half a pit of doom right now with the lava. Should I make the lava now? I can't remember if I've got a bucket anywhere. Let me see. I know where I can get some lava from. Uh, yes, I've got buckets. Nice. Um, right, let's go to the nether real quick and grab us some lava. We might be able to make this look a lot cooler than it kind of was before. Did someone just say they look hungry? Hey, Dan TDM, you look hungry. Would you like me to cook something? Uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be sweet if you could. I mean, why not? You could cook me something. 
We've got lots of more food in this mod pack. So, oh, geez, no, there's a golem in here. There's a couple golems in here. You guys, you guys, why? I want new golems to be... Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, this is terrible. Okay, let me go and check my machine as well, because that stopped working for a little bit. Oh, I thought that was a baby pig, man. It's not. Okay, why has this stopped working? It's not pumping la... Oh, okay, there we go. It's started again. I'm not sure why it does that. Oh, no. Did not mean to do that. Fantastic. I just lost the bucket. Wow. Get out of here, Flint. And stone transport pipe. Nice. I just lost the bucket. Fantastic. I'm always doing things like that. Just because I get carried away, I'm like, you know what, I need lava, I'm not gonna check my inventory, and moral of the story is, check your inventory! I've done that twice today, actually. I did it when, what else did we do? I lost the creeper glass, and now I lost the lava as well, so, good job to me. But hey, we got our lava, and that's what we came for. It's not much, but at least we got the other bit started as well, so this should start kind of pumping a little bit more. Because this stopped a little bit, a little while ago, because the lava stopped coming here. I'm not sure why. Not sure why that is, but hey, we'll learn. We'll learn from it. Okay, right, let's uh, make a little space down here. Just so we can get in. And then we're gonna make some lava. It's gonna look cool. Oh, no, I've got a problem. Uh, these villagers are gonna die. Yeah, these villagers are definitely gonna die. This is worrying. What if I do this? Oh, no, I've got these as well. Nice, I can make these flow. Yeah, okay, that kind of worked. Only a little bit, though. It doesn't look that amazing. Oh, jeez, I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. Yep, these villagers are going to die. I feel really bad. Now, if I kill them myself, I will get a bad reputation. So <laughs> what's going to happen is this. And we're not going to look. They're just going to unfortunately fall into a batch of lava. Look at them. They're dying quickly. Jeez, that's what you get for falling in here, you punks. Oh, man, I feel slightly bad now that I said that. But, hey, it had to be done. How do these villagers always find a way? Always, whenever there's a hole, they're like, yep, I'm going in that. I'm going in that. Right, we need to do this before another villager gets stuck. Uh, we need these two. There we go. And this, nice. Okay, uh, yeah, that looks kind of cool. The villagers are dying a little bit more. I kind of like how it looks just natural with a bedrock. You know what? We're just going to leave it like this for now. If you have any suggestions, then leave them in the comment section below because I like the glass top, but for some reason, I'm not liking, like, the outside of it. It might be because you can see dirt from the, the side. That might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. But we're going to have to deal with it for now. What was I going to do? We need a sign. We need a sign to kind of label this as the pit of death. So I am going to have to make one. Quickly grab this. And now the villagers can, like, freely roam. It's so much better. It means they're not getting all stuck and in the way. And it, it looks like they've kind of dwindled a little bit. I'm not too sure. And I was talking about how to how to control my villager population. And some of you crazy people out there were like, the easiest way to control the population is to remove the magnum torch. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the zombies and nasties will all come in and kill everyone. You guys are crazy. That would work, though. That would definitely work. But it's a little bit mean, I'm not going to lie. All right, I'm going to put some stone bricks down. So if we put some stone bricks here. Uh, the Pit of Doom. There we go. The Pit of Doom has now been covered. Look at him. He's enjoying it. Oh, geez, you look angry. Look at that. That helmet kind of comes across his eyes. and He looks super angry. But hey, people are using this to... Uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. This is the Pit of Doom. It's claimed a few lives, but now it is just a pit of awesome. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, this diamond shovel is going to die very soon. It might be... How long has it got left? Uh, one. Here we go. Goodbye. See you later. I'm going to grab some more of these slabs. I just want to finish off this path. What are they doing? Oh, are they falling in the gaps again? Just the tiny gaps that I just create. And they're like, way, we've got some more gaps to fall into. What was that? What is... Oh, it's the face-hugging thing. That creeped me out for a second. Ugh, it's gross. So, you know, they just like standing in it for no reason. They're like, hey, this looks cool. I'm just going to stand in it for a sec. Hope you don't mind. When really, I really do. Follow me. Get out of here. Come on. So messing around. It needs to be a, a whole free zone. Uh, yeah, I don't have <laughs> I don't have a shovel anymore. Great. There we go. I covered up some of the bad stuff as well. Um, I can get rid of this too. There we go, and pop that there. I don't know what to do. 
with the outside. I might make this into cobble. Oh, jeez, no. Ow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You reminded me of someone. I got mad, and I'm really sorry. I'm really... Can I, can I, um, make it up to you? Uh, no, I don't want you to follow me. I want you to just take this joke. I'm sorry. Okay, she, she, she accepted our apology. Oh my goodness. But, um, anyway, guys, I'm gonna think about what to do for the outside of this. I think I might just carry on with this pattern, just because it looks cool. Uh, but the Pit of Doom has been covered, and I think it looks pretty good. I hope you, um, enjoyed watching the, the new glass and stuff, because... It's actually really, really cool, and we've got some other glass that we can kind of experiment with too. Heart glass, kind of cute. Dark glass, that looks pretty cool as well. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this particular episode of the Diamond Dimensions, then please do leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, if this happens to be the first video you see by me, then please do consider subscribing and joining Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Apart from that, again, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye! <laughs>